So <clears throat> it's an awesome day here in Yakima. It's like 55 degrees, finally, or 54. It's hey, sunny. Launch lineup. This is the, what I call the Super Trooper. This is essentially a kit bash of um, the, two of the Estes Star Troopers that I got on that cleanup sale that they had at um, the beginning of last summer over at Hobby Lobby. I added these 3D printed kind of engine fillers on the A340. This is going to be the maiden voyage of the Extra Galactic 3D printed rocket. I printed this with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. But anyways, this is going to go and it's PLA. I'm expecting some serious damage. My prediction is we're going to have damage down here and also right up here where the gases are uh, ejected. While it's still under compression, those gases, and they're forcing this stuff out, I think this is going to take a significant amount of heat warping and damage. But And it's only on a one-half A3 2T. I'm hoping I'm getting that right. Again, another thing I picked up a ton of on the Hobby Lobby clearance, clearance sale at the beginning of last summer. And of course, my, my, my favorite rocket is the Alpha. I love the and Alpha. And this guy is the Journey. I first made the Journey with my little nephews because it was, again, Hobby Lobby Hall from the, the big clearance sale. This is like super cheap. I made one of these with my nephews. I got kind of bored and I played around with a, a 3D printed nose cone. These are both flying on the A83. Wow, ah, looks good when it's queued up, ready to go. All right, let's go send let's this go. thing. Oh, there it goes. Four second delay. Ooh, there's the streamer. That is a Mylar. You know what, I just realized you can't see this, can you? Okay, so here we are with the Super Trooper recovery. Everything seemed to have gone really well with that flight. Yeah, there it is. Like a champ. Yeah. Alpha on the A83. Awesome, right into the wind, which is perfect because they're starting to get a, quite a wind. I can't see anything in this camera because the sun is right in my eyes. Oh, there it goes. There it comes. Nice landing. It's kind of hard to see from that video, but it spins on the way down. It's a little nine inch, which is fine. A lot of the, that's the stuff that says 12 inch. This thing works great for it. So there we go. Okay, here it goes. Awesome. See that in the wind? You can see how it's had to shift the, cool. into the wind like the Alpha. This is the journey on the A83 with a modified nose cone. And there's that same rotofoil. You see it spins? And there's a swivel so it doesn't get tangled up. Wow. Launch pad. So it looks like that angle I cut with the A83, that worked pretty good. That was cool. Let's check it out. Yeah, there we go. The journey. There it yeah. is. The extra galactic, fully 3D printed in gas. No, don't do it. In PLA, right? Sweet looking rocket. Yeah. It's on the A, the one half A, uh, three, two. Oh, hey, what a great little flight. Turns out that streamer might not have been the best, but hey, let's go check this out see the results hmm so the big long super long nose cone kind of cool oh that, that's right that was a, pit, a parachute that I made apparently that didn't work so that's the first time I tried making it out of mylar okay yeah so I can feel this super hot and squishy and you can see right where it ejects the hot gases and where they stay pent up for a moment sorry the focus where they get pent up for a moment right in here i feel that that's squishy see that's where my my thumb touched it so this is pla which you know what's funny is it'll probably anneal <laughs> you know what i mean to some extent pla actually does that as a plastic okay so i like the design of this rocket but definitely going to print it out of something better a little bit different or put a nylon printed 3d printed nylon baffle system in there this is what is kind of interesting to me Am I insane or I gotta take that off just a second. Is that fine? Am I crazy? By the way, the threads, and you know, since it's a 0.2 millimeter nozzle, it can print really fine detail for threads. You can see this printer has some ringing issues going on with it. Not the best, but whatever. 
Is that... See, I would not have predicted that. That that would do that good. With PLA? Are you kidding me? The threads aren't... I mean, I thought this would get so warped that you could... I mean, there's hardly... I mean, in there it's a little burnt, but... That blows my mind. The only reason I predicted the warping on where it, where it exits is because on my 3D printed Sidewinder, which takes, I've been launching with D and F engines, uh, 24 millimeter composites, that's what happened with it. And it was even made with um, uh, copolyester. You know, it was kind of like PETG, but more expensive, kind of more, uh, kind of high tech fancy stuff. So overall today though, so this is a really, this is kind of what I predicted. That got so soft that you could really just kind of grab it. I think this is just thicker. And that's the thing, right? This is just thicker. So it can absorb. Man, but that really surprises me. All right, cool. Well, there's something I learned that, and there's no other problems with it aside from that, it doesn't seem. Uh, well, with the exception of this parachute, but that's more my, my issue. So, all right, man. You know, overall, pretty fun day here at the park. Just a real quick launch after work, four rockets. There they are. So I'm going to clean this place up, go looking for some recovery wadding if I can put it in the trash, and uh, get this thing posted to the internet.